BFTB, best fight the best. So, I'm seeing the words popping out all over the place about Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao doing a round two. Listen, I am a Floyd Mayweather fan. You know what I'm saying? I know everything about the dude. Been studying him for a long time. I think he's one of the best fighters that ever lived. However, dot com slash org. I don't give a fuck about him fighting Pacquiao again. I don't need to see the rerun. The first fight to me, as a pure boxing fan, the first fight to me was clear enough who the better fighter is. Plain and simple. It's clear enough there is no need for a rematch. Castillo, there was a need. Maidana, there was a need. There is no need for a Manny Pacquiao rematch. None. Manny Pacquiao was thoroughly outclassed. He was schooled badly. I don't give a fuck what Pactard on earth has to say. I don't. I know what my eyes say. I clearly watched that fight. I saw Manny Pacquiao confused, befuddled, throwing from both the left and right hand. There was nothing wrong with him. He was 100% okay. He just got his ass with That is bottom line fact about the matter. Now, to dive into it a little bit more. Another reason why I don't give a fuck about this fight, and, and if they do fight, um, I'll, I'll stream it, but it's not on my top 10 to watch. Um, again, I'm a Floyd Mayweather fan. But I'm also not a fucking idiot. This dude says before the fight is official, before it's announced, before anything, he says another nine, this is what he says, another nine figure payday. Another nine figure payday. Listen, man, there's something about these weird, and, and you know what? So, Money Mayweather, not Pretty Boy Floyd, Money Mayweather started this. And now, all boxers of today are trying to carry the Pretty Boy Floyd, I mean, the Money, May, the Money Mayweather Floyd mantra without ever being the pretty boy Floyd Mayweather. I eat Anthony Joshua. That is the main one doing it. And now all these other fucking fighters are starting that shit now too, but Anthony Joshua is the main one doing it. Trying to be Money Mayweather without being pretty boy Floyd. This is like disgusting to me. Like, look, man. Look, I, I don't care to see you stack money. I don't give a fuck if you stack money. Like that, that is not my entertainment. But that's like you weirdos entertainment. That's you James, your entertainment is to watch this man stack money. Your money is to watch him fill his bank account with your money. That is your argument on why the best fights can't happen. Is because Joshua makes $20 million a fight, which is a lie. But that's one of your speaking points. One of your speaking points is, oh, well, Joshua makes $20 million a fight, you know? And Wilder doesn't make that much money a fight. So then he needs to be realistic. I don't, I don't give a fuck how much they, they stack up. I don't, care how I don't care how stupid you motherfuckers are to give them your money, to watch them stack your money, and that is the fucking, the, the checkpoint, the gold standard on whether or not a fight can happen is if they can steal enough of your money to stack up while doing these fucking stupid ass fights that nobody wants to see. Like Povetkin, nobody wants to see that fight, but we just gotta watch and see if he can fucking bribe you whole ass niggas out of mu mu as much money as possible so you can say, oh, well, he made $20 million a fight. He, he took he took me for $20 million. So because he took me for $20 million, then that means um, I don't have to see the best fight. Get the fuck out of here. I go get the fuck out of here, man. And that's why I'm not, I will not watch no fucking Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather 2. Get the fuck out of here. I seen that show already. I seen it. It was the final episode. There's nothing after that. that that's it. The series is done. There's nothing after that. Nothing. Uh, I, look, man, there is nothing after that. 
nothing. Anything that anything that's done after a Floyd Mayweather won that was a complete lopsided schooling. I don't give a fuck what any of you packed hard dick riders say. I don't care. I know what I seen. I know exactly what I watched. It was not a classic. It was a one-sided schooling. Pacquiao won about two rounds in that entire fight. I don't need to watch it in reverse. I don't need to watch it in slow motion, ultra slow motion. I don't need to watch it sideways. I don't need to watch it upside down, standing on my head, you know what I'm saying, with the TV turned around backwards, listening to the fucking uh, Egyptian commentary. I know what the fuck I've seen. Live. Pacquiao was schooled badly. It was not close. There is no need for a round two. It is a money grab. That's it. I am a massive Floyd Mayweather fan. Massive. But I will be damned if I give this motherfucker another hundred dollars just so I can say, oh, Floyd Mayweather made made a nine-figure paycheck. But that's not my entertainment. That may be you all's entertainment. You all may get off on watching Anthony Joshua stack $20 million a fight, which he doesn't make. You may say, oh yeah, look at that, yeah. Our guy made $20 million. Yeah. He's the A-side because he made $20 million because he took me for $20 million to fight a fucking 40-year-old washed up old man killer because that's what Povetkin is, an old man killer. He damn near got knocked out in his last fight. Damn near got knocked out, smoothed the fuck out by a guy with no chin. What's his name? David Price? David Price is the motherfucking heavyweight Amir Khan. That's what David Price is. He's the heavyweight Amir Khan. All the skill in the world, no chin at all. If you if you throw a feather in his face, he's getting knocked out. But this guy damn near knocked Povetkin smooth the fuck out. Povetkin made his name off of beating Hasim Rachmans and Marco Hooks. Marco Hook, who was a clear cruiserweight. Clear. 100% clear cruiserweight. And went the distance with Povetkin. <laughs> Hasim Rachman, who was 95 years old, legitimately. <laughs> and that's, and, come on, man. Get the fuck out of here, man. But that's who he's fighting now. And that's who you guys will be like, oh, Povetkin is so dangerous. He's so dangerous. So I need to give Joshua all of my money to watch him fight Povetkin. You know, who popped dirty six times on PEDS and still became the WBA and WBO mandatory the next year. Six times on PEDS, six times. Meldonium, four times, both A and B samples. Osterin, two times, both A and B samples. But yet, Luis Ortiz, who you all, oh, he deserves his shot. He's the boogeyman. He's the best heavyweight fighter right now, the, the most technical. He's this and that. You know, he's better than all of them because he can box just as good as Fury, but it, but he has more punching power, and he has better footwork than Joshua, and he's just an all-around better fighter. Look at his amateur record, blah, rah, all this other shit, you know, when he was a WBA manager. Because at that time, he was in line to fight Joshua, and y'all needed to pump him up. So if Joshua was to beat him, then y'all can say, yeah, Joshua beat the boogeyman. Yeah, our guy, yeah. But as soon as Joshua ducked him, all of a sudden it's, Oh, well, you know, he's 175 years old. You know, those Cubans always lie about their age. And who did who did Ortiz beat? He didn't beat anybody. The only person he ever fought was Brian Jennings. You know, he never fought anybody. And he's not the boogeyman. Uh, uh, there is no boogeyman in the division. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Y'all just changed everything straight up. Changed it all up. Changed it up completely. But again, it goes back to you all. Wanting to watch Joshua stack 
twenty million dollars per fight, which he does not make. Y'all want to watch him do that? <laughs> y'all, y'all are okay. That is your entertainment. You as boxing fans prefer to see Joshua stack money versus fight the best. That's what you'd rather see him do. You'd rather see him say, oh, well, you know, Joshua sold out. He sold out a stadium. He sold 80000 and made $20 million fighting fucking um, Uber Mike. You know, he fought Uber Mike and, and knocked him out. He's such a superstar. Well, actual boxing fans like myself that want to see the best fight the best, we are not locked in to watching the bullshit. I'm paying for the... We can just stream it. Where you dumb fucks will have to pay more now so that your guy can make $20 million a fight or that your guy can make a nine-figure payday fighting Pacquiao. No, us guys, the, sh the, the guys that are actual boxing fans, us guys that actually will only pay for the best fighting the best, you know, we will just stream it or we will watch it later on YouTube. <laughs> it's too simple for, for me, too simple, too simple. I did not watch, I did not pay to watch Canelo versus Golovkin because I already seen that fight. It wasn't close to me the first time. I don't give a fuck what any of you say. I have my own brain and my own eyes. I clearly saw Canelo beat him easily. And I honestly thought that Adelaide Bird had the best score out of everybody. And I don't give a fuck what any of you say. I don't care what y'all say. I don't care. I watched that fight several, several times. Several times. The first time I watched it, I had Canelo winning 7-5. The first time. Every consecutive time I watched it after that, the, the, the gap widened. Every time. Every time. Canelo beat him by a wider margin every single time I watched it. Not one time did, did Golovkin win another round after I watched it. Not one time. And I don't like neither one of these fighters. Neither one of them. So fuck all of you who think, oh, you're just dick riding Canelo. No, fuck Canelo. Fuck Canelo. I don't like him. He ducked the Charlos. He ducked Andre. You know what I'm saying? He ducked all those fighters in when he was at 154. And he lost to Laura. And he arguably lost to Trout. But I think he actually... That one was a more closer fight where, yeah, I can see him winning. But he lost to Trout. Clearly lost to Trout. And he did not get a majority...